All right, the sweet potato biscuits are ready to go in the oven. You can see the streaks of butter in it and the streaks of sweet potato. These are going to turn out so well. And I'm going to make up some butter with more seasoning with cinnamon and cloves to put on the top of the ones that still have to go in the oven when these are done. And we'll see how well those turn out. So give me a couple minutes. So this flavored butter I put on top of these biscuits I'm putting in the refrigerator, it's got me thinking. I have this beauty over here, which is gonna turn out like a croissant. You can see the layers in it already. If you can see that, those layers. I could do one more set of layers and put flavored butter in and then do it, uh, fold it up and do it again and make another layer with added flavor. So I think I just might do that. Okay, so I cut my long croissant piece in half and I put butter with cinnamon and cloves and now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar. This is not a recipe. And then I'm going to fold it a couple times and roll it out. So all I do is take the piece, fold it in half one way, then the other way. It's actually kind of like a ho-ho roll-up. Maybe I could do this in this way. I can leave it this way or I can roll it out. Not sure what I'm going to do. This side, I'm going to get rid of the cinnamon and all of that. And I'm going to make David one with a chocolate layer. See if that works. Fold in a chocolate layer. I hope it does. I don't want to ruin nothing. And I'm going to put a nice size smear of this, leaving the edge so I can seal it. And I will show you that. Okay, so this is what I did. I left an outer ridge all the way around. Ah, I can't see the top, but there's a ridge down here and up here. There you go. Now I'm going to attempt to fold this one third into the middle, one more third into the middle. Doesn't that look awesome? I think David just might like this if I can get him to try it. He doesn't like to try new things. Okay, so I'm rolling out the last piece that I put the cinnamon and sugar on. I'm gonna put this on the cookie sheet after it cools, it will go in the oven. This is David's with the chocolate. I'm kind of tempted just to leave that one as is, just to see how well it works. I'm gonna take a little bit of this off so I can seal the end up, and hopefully the chocolate won't leak out from the inside. Make sure I get all of the creases and seams. Oh, that's good. There, I close that end up. But I'm going to go around and make sure it's sealed real good. Then these are going back in the refrigerator. And I will come back when they're done cooking for you.